Hi guys, hope you're well. Today, we got our first look at map changes coming to Call of Duty Warzone. A couple of new points of interest on the map and also a giant cargo ship, which looks like it's going to crash into the Gulag area of the map. We don't know what's on it without context. Seems just interesting, but with this new trailer for season two, they also showed a load of zombie stuff for Cold War. Interesting new large scale open world zombies mode and they released a blog detailing some of the map changes for warzone and a couple of the new guns as well so we're just going to quickly take a look at all this info right now and get you up to date with everything that's coming out so on the surface in the trailer we see some snippets of the monument area of the dance and you can see now that it's opened up there's a rappel to go up and down and it looks like it's some kind of nuclear bunker down there. There are some corridors and they're fighting in there for a few seconds. You get a couple of glimpses of the new SMG. So I wonder how many other locations like this will be opened up on the map. Also, it looks like the helicopters with the guns on the side are returning. They went away because they were letting people turn invisible and have god mode. So I'm kind of glad that they got rid of them. I didn't think it would take this long for them to come back, but... They're coming back, hopefully, normal glitch. And then, of course, that giant ship. Now, if you play Rebirth Island, you can see the ship in the distance. And for whatever reason, it's coming towards Verdansk. Now, if you look at the blog that was released at the same time as this trailer, it tells you what's going on here. Across Verdansk, there are a number of points of interest to either discover or more fully explore, all advancing Warzone's story while offering new places to scavenge and scrap for survival. Last sighted off the coast of Rebirth Island, recent intel suggests that the cargo tanker Vodianoi has gone missing at sea. However, recent visuals have identified a vessel matching the description heading toward the port of Verdansk. Operators within the vicinity are recommended to exercise extreme caution as the ship is carrying unknown cargo and its crew are not able to be contacted. Meanwhile, within Verdansk, something major is beginning to rumble deep underground. Although other reports from these new locales are still classified, we'd advise you to explore these at your own risk. So they're obviously pointing to something dangerous in that cargo ship and also under the ground could be zombies you know with how hard they are pushing this new open world zombies mode for cold war we might also see them come to warzone again we had the halloween event which was super fun loved it but this feels like it could be a bit different so it's going to be really fun to see how the story unfolds here they'll be adding a new game mode to Verdansk as well called exfiltration and it says here that it's about time that the exfil chopper arrives before the circle fully closes in during an exfiltration battle royale a portable radio crackles into life coming online somewhere in Verdansk. the operator who secures this radio and holds onto it for a sufficient period of time automatically wins the game for them or their squad in non-solo mode to ensure that exfil isn't by the book anyone holding the radio is marked on the tack map as if they were under a most wanted contract, with all operators also receiving intel on how much longer the current radio holder has until they win. Other than this new win condition, the same battle rail rules apply. Expect a circle collapse and a winner to be determined by the last operator or squad standing, should nobody receive an early exfil with the radio. So it's captured the flag, but the flag has a timer on it, and if you hold the flag for long enough, you extract and win the game. That sounds like it could be absolute chaos, and I'd love to try it. They're also doing Rebirth Resurgence Extreme in the launch week, and that means that they're adding 90 players to Rebirth. It's already pretty hectic at the moment at 60 or whatever it is, so another 30 players? <laughs> that's, that's going to be just insane. And they've also said that certain caches around the map will continue to refresh their items frequently just to ensure that if you respawn there's always boxes to open and loot that you can get that will be absolutely chaotic i'm sure new guns that will be in cold war and therefore also warzone the farah 83 just looks like a gallil fully automatic assault rifle heavyweight claiming to have one of the fastest firing rates in class that might be devastating in Warzone. And then we've got the LC-10 SMG, and this is said to be a well-rounded automatic submachine gun, allowing you to stretch firefights into the mid-range. Then we've got the crossbow, which is called the R1 Shadow Hunter. The crossbow is simple and lightweight design allows for great handling and quieter elimination. If an operator doesn't prefer its iron sights, they can shoot accurately from the hip in close quarters or choose to attach one of several optics. Don't know how this will differ to the crossbow that's already in Warzone and Modern Warfare. Maybe just more mobility, better hip fire accuracy. We'll have to see. 
And then finally, the ZRG 20 millimeter sniper that looks absolutely massive. Built for sharpshooters who need power to eliminate targets at extremely long ranges. This bolt action sniper rifle boasts a faster bullet velocity than any other weapon in its class, as well as the ability to eliminate operators with a single shot to the head. And although it has a slow rate of fire, its reload speeds are among the fastest in the category. So potentially a contender for the HDR, getting those long range sniper shots. And that's about it. I don't really want to cover the Cold War zombies or the new Cold War stuff that much. There's a new fire team map, a couple new vehicles. The new zombies experience, that looks really fun though. Open world zombies on the fire team maps and the zombies in mechs and dragons and all sorts of crazy stuff. And you've got to get a sample from A to B. So I'll definitely be playing that. Out of all the game modes in Cold War, zombies definitely my favorite. I'm looking forward to that. I'll probably be live streaming that soon too. And all of this launches on the 24th and the 25th of February next week. So not long to wait at all. Loads of new operators as well. There's a new score streak for COD, which is the Death Machine. Just a big minigun. There's already a minigun in Warzone. I don't think they'll put it in there. And with that said, that's about it. I mean, I'm pretty hyped for this stuff and it seems like there's going to be a lot of secrets and there's still rumors about a brand new map or some kind of refresh of the map around March or April at the first year anniversary. Again, we've had nothing solid. I've seen a load of rumors and leaks online. Always take that stuff with a pinch of salt though because you just don't know how real any of it is. People just make up whatever they want. So just wait until it comes out of the horse's mouth and then get excited. So yeah, I'm stoked to check out these new points of interest next week. I'll be live streaming it on YouTube, of course. I've been doing it a lot more recently with Warzone and enjoying it loads. And a load of you are coming and tuning into those live streams. So I just want to say thank you for that. I will always publish them as a VOD as well. So if you miss it live, you can watch it after the fact. With that said, that's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.